All right there, everyone. How's it going? So today I'll be bringing you my UFC 254 predictions. First fight I'll be predicting will be RDA versus Islam Makachev. Now, I don't really see why RDA is going back down to lightweight. It seems like a ridiculous, pointless move. I feel like at this point in his career, he really should retire. Um, you know, lightweight was a hard cut for him. What is the point of going back down there, you know? And it's very, very deadly. I mean, it's always been, you know, quite a competitive division, but now... As I've said before, it's probably the most competitive division in combat sports, in my opinion. Like, it's just absolutely deadly. Every person, every fighter in the top 15 um, could easily be champion. You know, it's very, very deadly. So I don't see why he's going back down there now. Um, I think he should just retire. You know, he had a decent run at 170, but then he sadly lost. You know, he he, he did well. He submitted Magni, then he beat Lawler. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he did beat someone before Magni, but I can't remember at this um, current moment. But um, then obviously he lost to Covington. He did all right. You know, he had some decent moments where he was like clipping him a bit here and there. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, Colby wrecked him. Uh, Usman wrecked him. Uh, then he beat Kevin Lee and then he lost to Kiesa and Leon Edwards. Um, you know, there's... He just needs to retire at this point. Thankfully, none of those guys, you know, brutal knockout artists. I know, I know, he took a bit of damage against Kevin Lee, but then Kevin Lee gassed himself. I know he did get dropped with a right hand, and you know, but RDA's got a great chin. He's very durable. I can't see Islam Makachev finishing him, but I can definitely um, see him doing a bit of damage. Obviously, he's not just going to throw the wild punches and stand with RDA. Uh, he'll probably just resort to the wrestling. I don't see the judo really working on RDA. Um, I just really see that. Like, like maybe if RDA is really gassed, then he lets RDA up and then trips him up. But why would you expend that em energy, you know? Um, I don't see RDA's jiu-jitsu being able to do much against uh, Makachev because Davy Hamas, who, you know, was, uh, well, is amazing at the grappling, um, he wasn't able to do much against him. So RDA won't be able to do much in that aspect. The only way I can see RDA winning is if Makachev is da daft enough to stand with him um, that's the only way I can see him winning, you know, or, or if Makachev really tries to go for the finish and gasses himself out, then RDA can take advantage of that because he's just got an insane chin. But but maybe maybe he's only got an insane chin in recent times because he stayed at 170. Maybe going back down to lightweight will uh, damage his chin quite a bit. That is, it's very possible. So um, we'll just have to see. I mean... You know, we really will just have to see what will happen. But I am confident Islam Makachev will get a unanimous decision win. Next fight I'll be predicting will be uh, Alexander Volkov versus Walt Harris. Uh, very interesting fight, this one, to be honest. Um, you know, both dudes lost, obviously, Volkov. He did he, he did half decent in that Blades fight, especially towards the end. Blades was gassing, but... Volkov just couldn't do enough to win. Blaze was dominating him for the first three. I can't really remember four and five that well. I, I don't like being one of these people who's like, oh, wrestling is so boring. But like, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just struggled to pay attention to that fight after three rounds. But I could see Volkov was doing some good work in four and five from what I remember, from the bits that I do remember. And I can also see that um, Blaze was gassing. So Volkov, it wasn't like an awful, awful fight. He just got really dominated. And then uh, Walt Harris, he nearly finished over him, but over him, he's just such a veteran of the game. He's got such a chin on him, he just he just couldn't get the job done, sadly. Um, so there you go. You know, uh, Walt Harris, as we know, is just insanely mentally tough, especially, you know, being able to go through a whole training camp and fighting someone of the level of over him after that tragedy that he'd been through. Um He's just so, so mentally tough, you know, and you, and you have to have the utmost respect for him. Um, but Volkov is insanely good in the striking department. Um, you know, Walt Harris is powerful. He could land the big punch that Derek Lewis landed, but I can't really see it happening against Volkov, sadly. Um, you know, I, I think it will be close, though, don't get me wrong, but I think Volkov will managed to edge out a split decision win. So I'm picking Volkov for this one. Um, Walt Harris is good and powerful, but I just think Volkov will manage to get a split decision win. I do see this being a very close one. So the next fight I'm predicting is Yair Rodriguez versus Zabit Magomed Sharipov. 
Now, this one was a. It meant a lot to me before because I was thinking before it got um, delayed because I was thinking, oh, yes, it's a main event. Come on, get in there. We're going to see some big go five rounds like the whole MMA community, you know. We're all feeling like this. We all want to see him go five rounds and see how he copes because obviously against Calvin Cater, he, um, you know, gassed a bit in the third. And um, against Jeremy Stevens, he gassed a little bit in the third. So we're just going to have to see how he does, really. It'll be very, it was going to be very intriguing when it was... Um, I know people were uh, wondering, oh, will it, would have it been five rounds originally? Would have they just made it three? Because I can't remember if Sabit was a short notice replacement. I can't remember. There was a reason why they might have made it um, three rounds. But anyway, that, that's gone out the window. There's no five rounds because this isn't a main event or a co-main event. Um, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, no, 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 hold on. It's not, uh, sorry, it's not for the title. Only the main event goes five rounds or title five goes five rounds. I can't believe how much of a casual I'm being. Um, anyway, uh, so I had a lot of intrigue for this pro fight previously, but now, I mean, Zabit's going to wreck him, isn't he? We all know what's going to happen now that it's not five rounds. Yair can try his best. Yair can do all that funky stuff. But at the end of the day, it's just going to be another dominating performance for Zabit. It would be cool if he doesn't gas in the third. Maybe I could get him in the third with something. I don't know. But, I mean, man. So much intrigue before, but now that's gone. You know, Zabit's going to be able to just wreck him. Um, so, yeah, Zabit, unanimous decision win. He's just going to absolutely wreck him. Maybe if Zabit gasses, Yai can land some, something amazing. But I can only see the top featherweights landing something later on in the fight. Because let's be real, Calvin... Um, sorry, not Cal, um, Calvin Qatar. I nearly said Calvin Gastelum then. Um, Calvin Qatar. Calvin Cater. I don't know why I call him Qatar. Sorry. Calvin Cater. He had he has amazing boxing. Knocked out Shane Burgos with that brilliant right hand. Knocked out Jamie Stephen with the elbow. Knocked out Jamie Stevens with the... Well, knocked him down with the elbow. Then finished him with um, a few right hands, you know. Uh, he couldn't finish the bit. Jeremy Stevens couldn't finish the bit in the third. You, you're you not giving yourself enough time if you only have three rounds. It has to be in four and five, in my opinion, where he'll be more gassed and more susceptible to the knockout. But, yeah, I think... Um, I think, yeah, the bit's going to win. He's just going to absolutely wreck him. Unanimous decision. 30-26 probably. But who knows? Who knows? Yai is an exciting fighter. Looking forward to it. Should be cool for three rounds, even though Zabit will just probably wreck him. But, you know, it'll be cool nonetheless. <laughs> Next fight. Jar Cannonier versus Robert Whittaker. I'm looking forward to this one. Two beasts. Absolutely awesome. Um... Yeah, I just cannot wait for this one. This will be great. You know, as everyone says in the MMA community, Cannonier bringing that heavyweight power down to middleweight. I couldn't believe how well he did against Branch. Absolute. Well, from what I remember, Branch was winning that first fight, and then he just he just got absolutely wrecked. And Jack and Anson was winning a bit of that round. You know, well the the first round. I don't know. I can't remember it fully. I'm so sorry. But anyway. Um, I know Jack Hanansen got the cheeky suplex and it was somewhat competitive, but then Cannonier with that absolute brutal power managed to finish him. And Whitaker in the till fight. I mean, Whitaker did good. You know, I know he landed that side kick to Till's leg, so maybe he could land the same thing on Cannonier. But the thing is, Till, I'm not trying to knock him or anything, but he's not a power puncher. At welterweight, he wasn't. At middleweight, he's not. I know, but and the thing is, he managed to drop Whitaker. So, you know. If if Whitaker's getting caught by Till, if he's getting hit by De Sonia, if he's getting hit by Romero, um, then well, he's definitely going to get hit by Cannonier. So I see Cannonier winning. I think it'll be a second round KO, in my opinion. That's what I think is going to happen. So here we go, main event time. Justin Gagey versus Khabib. I can't wait for this one. Gagey put on an amazing, absolutely phenomenal performance against Ferguson. Apart from that uppercut, but Gagey was going mad. He was going like this, way, and then then brung it all the way. Well, brought it all the way around, telegraphed it, and yeah, Ferguson managed to bam get him and drop him. But apart from that, re in reality, let's you know, apart from that, um, Gagey just dominated. He was picking the shots perfectly. He was getting in and out perfectly. He wasn't just trying to be this wild, exciting fighter and throw caution to the win and be a crazy brawler. He was also, you know, he was being, well, he was being incredibly, he's being incredibly intelligent in this one. So, 
Yeah, just an absolute utter beast. Uh, Khabib's great, though. As we know, he's barely lost any rounds. Um, McGregor beat him in the third. The Dustin fight. I mean, Dustin nearly got the guillotine on him, but, you know, um, that's about it, really. That was the only thing he managed to do against him. I think he wobbled Khabib a bit as well. So, um, you know, apart from that, those two... And, oh, yeah, Michael Johnson did wobble Khabib a bit, but apart from that... Khabib's just been absolutely dominating. There are some questions about the Glyce and T-Bow fight, but that was early in his career, you know, and it's whatever now. That's in the past at the end of the day. Um, Gaichi, you know, you'd assume as he was a wrestler in college, and I don't, I'm pretty sure he was in the, um, he was NCAA Division 1 or 2. Anyway, we know. And, oh yeah, and his first few knockouts, I'm pretty sure he was just like trying to slam people down. In uh, the early days of his MMA, because wrestling was all he knew. But anyway, you'd imagine that he's used to the style of wrestling, like the American style, like the very explosive style. He's not used to the uh, Russian, you know, very technical style, uh, the way Khabib grinds on you. So, in my opinion, uh, but the thing is, at the same time, Khabib's never come again, up against an amazing wrestler. I uh, don't really... Thing is, and also, Khabib usually likes to stand with people as well, and I feel like Gaethje can finish him that way, and Khabib, I mean, we haven't really seen a leg kicker against him. It's such a close fight, in my opinion. I think, uh, my, my mind says Khabib, but my heart says Gaethje, and the thing is, you should always go with your heart, because that's what drags you on mentally, you know, your heart, your determination, your grit. So, it's a very, very difficult one, but I'm going to go for Gaethje. I think it'll be a very close unanimous decision. I can't see him beating Khabib. I can see Khabib wrestling him for a few rounds. Because the thing is, Gaethje previously, he used to gas out, didn't he? Two rounds, gave it his all. And then, well, I'm sure he was trying to give it, give it his all in the rounds after number two. But he got gassed, you know. Can happen to anyone who's expend, expending that much energy. So, in my opinion, I feel like... Well... His performance, the thing is, his performance against Ferguson, it's like, did he only perform like that because the crowd wasn't there? But you also think to yourself, like, he's probably just fighting more tactical and more smart now. You know, even Hooker said after his poor air fight, he's like, I've got to fight smart now, no more having fun in now, I've got to be intelligent with our fight. So, it does make you think, can he, um, can he just, will he just fight intelligent and pick his shots perfectly? And can he, defend Khabib's takedowns to a degree, you know, or can he get back up or will he let it not mentally defeat him? So I think Justin Gage will win unanimous decision. Or actually no, no split decision. All right, then let's look at some other fights quickly. Um, I think Cynthia Cavallo will beat Lauren Murphy. I think, um, where is he now? Um, Umar Namagomedov will beat Sergi Morzoff. What? Oh, sorry, I can't read that. <laughs> um, and I don't really know much about these fighters, um, and I think Sam Alvey will beat um, Da Unjung. Um, or Da Unjung. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that totally wrong. I've never seen um, Jung fight before. Um, I know a bit about Sam Alvey, though. Um yeah, but with um with Umar versus um Sergi, I just feel like anyone who's related to Khabib is just going to be an absolute utter beast, aren't they? So um, yeah, that those are on picking. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.